So, the rumors speak true. Marcus, my old friend. A poor choice of words, Kane. We were not friends. Now will you sour this reunion with old grudges? Granted, we parted on poor terms. You tried to murder me. I seem to have failed. You feared my growing powers. You knew they would one day surpass yours. Is that why you begged me to fight at your side when you wage war upon Nosgoth? Begged? I never begged. In your arrogance, you presumed me dead. But I was stronger than you knew. I crawled from my haven and fled into hiding. That's the Marcus I remember. When the Seraphan proved victorious, I knew that my destiny lay with the Seraphan Lord. I offered myself to the winning side. I always knew you for a sneaking, cowardly opportunist. How unfortunate that my poor aim caused you so much suffering. This time, you will die completely, I promise you. No, King. Once more you underestimate me. The dark gifts manifest differently in each of us. Over the years during your absence, my powers have increased enormously. I now have the power to charm all living things, to subjugate their minds and make them do my bidding. You will yield to me, Kane. The Seraphan Lord will be pleased with my new slave. Now, obey me. What? Impossible! What manner of creatures have you been practicing on? Dull mortal fools, with their minds full of commerce and dung? My mind is far too strong for your powers. No matter. My mental powers still allowed me to read your thoughts. You seek the Bishop of Meridian, do you not? He has some information that you require. A clever trick. I will ensure that you never get that information. You may find the good bishop here, but when you do, he will be dead. Not if I reach him first.